just left and he was dead to the fucking tree. God loves you. Do you believe in uh, turning the other cheek? Uh... Turku Saatanalle 6 is on the go and we have some anti Turku Saatanalle people over here. As you can pretty much figure out what's going on there, it's black metal, it's Satan, it's devil worshipping, it's all about darkness and the uh, destruction of mankind. But as always it seems to be the case, we have some Jesus people here, that is believing in higher powers. So, Jesus people, why are you here? Uh, well, uh, Jesus has said, go and make disciples all the nations, and you are also among those nations. And, and you are interested in spiritual things, so we are, we just want to discuss with people who are interested and maybe pray for them. But if they are not interested, we, we don't have to push ourselves. So are you the good shepherd? Uh, I am not, but Jesus is our Lord, he's our good shepherd. And, so you are basically uh, trying to get his message through to these people? Well, yes, we are at least open to that and uh, God will take care of the results and uh, we just obey his command, go and make disciples all the nations. Do you, need, do you think that Almighty God needs your help? Uh, well, he has decided for some reason to use people in that, so we are just uh, believing that and doing that. So, um, is there actually a point that instead of praying at your holy altars and churches and shrines, you come to the place where people are actually disgusted by God? Do you think you can make a difference? Well, of course, some people are resisting and not listening, but we got the permission from the organizer. We can stay here and even buy the ticket and come in. But but maybe we don't do that but anyway i think it's a good thing to discuss and uh, find what you believe and we can uh, share maybe more light and uh, to your darkness i have also been in darkness i have listened to heavy metal when i was not believer and uh, uh, i have not been in very deep I, but i know one person who lives in turku he has his testimony in the internet. He has been worshipping Satan and really believing what he uh, sings in those songs. And he was almost doing suicide under the train. And then he just ha woke up by God that what I'm doing. And he was saved uh, in that point. And afterwards he gave his life to Jesus. And uh, in fact, I tried to get him here, but he didn't reply my messages. But anyway, those guys I get here and... Uh, Let's see what God will open up. Yeah. So do you think as a whole group you can actually make a difference? Of course. I can tell you something. Sure. There is the power of the God. When you just like give your life to God, He's going to change you. But it's the point that what is the purpose in your life? What's you going to do? Because you're, there is a life that you're not sure that you are alive today or the tomorrow. But the God, all body, He wants to give you freedom from everything. It's because He died on the cross for you 2,000 years ago. And He loves every human. And that's why like we are here to share our faith that Jesus is the real. And he still He wants to open the heart of the people. Uh, what do you think of this theory that... Uh whole Christianity was basically invented by Romans in order to kind of shepherd people and, you know, make them to pay taxes and all that stuff. Could you imagine that Jesus is a, like, big fraud thing? Like the Jesus is a... Uh, what do you Like say? a fake thing, like uh, invented by humans. No, actually. If you can, if you can do it in English, please do it. If there was a joker who was put to fucking tree and nailed to the fucking tree. Fucking tree. Like a fucking tree. Uh, Jesus. Fucking tree. Jesus went. Jesus went and he was nailed to the fucking tree because he was a fucking criminal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like Romans knew that he was a kind of a douchebag. Hey, no, he was a criminal. Criminal this That was used, commonly used. 
way to do. So with criminals. So what do you think? What do you think? That Jesus on the cross and the, nowadays okay. these vagas want to want, want to drink his blood and eat his flesh. That's fucking insane. I go inside. And insane is this because we smell the smell of sweet pot here. But what are your answer to these uh, claims that Jesus was a criminal and he should be on the cross dying for sins or not? Well, some people thought he's a criminal, uh, but in fact uh, he was not. So he was, they said that he's resisting like Caesar and uh, not you can't pay taxes to Caesar and that kind of lies. But anyway, he's, uh, he didn't do anything bad. Uh, so are you guys kind of anarchists in that sense? Uh, well, in that sense that we not only believe, but we also try to do that, what Jesus has commanded. So do you think you can actually invert the people here? Like, okay, those flocks are all filled with Satan and the bad shit and, and the devil and all that stuff. And now that you come here, you can actually make a difference. Uh, Bible says that one will chase a thousand and two, two thousand, uh, ten thousand. So we have three, so it's like ten million. Thank you. He was taking up uh, and the Christian peace. God loves you. <laughs> Do you believe in uh, turning the other cheek? Uh, now we have a, a peace contest in a criminal decree, which is uh, we see the God, uh, the flock of God going away because of peace, because Almighty God it seems cannot handle peace human peace versus jesus powers uh i couldn't figure out that out uh anyway thank you for uh being part of here no. what is your final word for the uh you know all the satanic people here how can you invert the flock and not ensue violence well there's more power in jesus and in his blood he has saved me he has given me hope purpose of life there's hope there's uh eternal life you can find in Jesus. So eternal life, that is exactly what Mayhem was singing about some 25 years ago. So it's up to you whether you decide to go with Mayhem, the Mysteries, Dom Satanas, or go with Jesus people. You decide, I decide, go, Jesus, fuck off, fuck my out of my life, fuck out of these people's lives and go do your Jesus job somewhere else. This is a route out and let's welcome, bye bye.